Okay, you guys, this one's kind of a doozy. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm hoping you can all bear with me yet again throughout this video. So to be completely transparent with you all, this video is a bunch of clips throughout the past few months, Frankenstein together into one. And this is because these last few months have been full of some great times, but also some really hard times. And although the hard times are hard to capture, I still feel I have something worth sharing with you all. So with that in mind, I bring you this video. To make or not to make. Like I said, this video is full of some great times, and this without a doubt is one of them. I would consider the beginning of this video also as one of them, because not only am I doing one of my favorite things to do, but I actually finished that project in a pretty timely manner, which means that I'm kind of locked in. And here is no different. I'm doing two things that I love, hanging out with my friends, eating snacks, and actually three things because I start crocheting too. I'm doing pretty great, enjoying these fleeting moments, not knowing that they're fleeting, but nonetheless, feeling great what is happening <laughs> and that's where to make or not to make comes in sometimes i'm feeling really really good and it's really really easy for me to crochet i have an idea i have some sort of motivation and then i lose that motivation and i don't know where it went but it's gone it's gone and i don't even know that it's gone until I find myself months later not having touched crochet one time. She speaks French. And then months go by and I couldn't even tell you how long went by, but then I'm kind of struggling to even leave my house. This is me forcing myself to go out because I was just thinking, I'm not gonna let my feelings win. And at this point in my life too, crocheting is not even in the room. I can't even imagine myself crocheting. I don't even know if I'm gonna crochet ever again. You know, that's how far it is removed from my brain. And at this point right now, all that really matters is me just allowing myself to have that space to feel, to feel however bad I feel, to feel whatever I need in order to keep going, to try to get back to some sort of normalcy in my life. And sometimes that comes from new inspiration, which is exactly what I found. New motivation, right? That's where I left off. So before, at the beginning of the video, I was crocheting just to crochet, just because I had the yarn, I had the idea, let's go for it, right? But now I'm crocheting with an actual purpose. 
I'm not doing anything, but she is though. I've been locked in. No, she's she's caring right now. I can't I'm 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 here mentally. She's my rock. Right. And roll. Roll. <laughs> you guys, it's so bad. You know, sometimes I'm so focused that I slobber. The same. No, I just don't. <laughs> no, sometimes I'm crocheting something and I'm like. Oh my god, I did that too when I crochet. She taught me how to crochet and then she forgot how to, so I'm gonna teach. This is actually a sweater that I knit, you guys. Did you actually? Well, yeah, I did this. I did this like two or three years ago. But, um, yeah, this I should. Is so pretty. Really? It's so good. I barely wear it because I'm like so scared of messing it up. Um, but. Did you make this? Yeah. What color? What color right now? Probably pink. Like a baby pink. A baby pink or. I heard about this bazaar that was raising money for Palestine and I did it last year and then I heard about it again this year so I signed up for it and you know what this isn't for me this is for a greater cause so even though I you know was kind of down on my luck kind of feeling bad for myself I decided you know what I'm gonna get up because this is a good reason for me to get up and I just started going you know I think sometimes faking it till you make it is making it right because you're doing it and your body just can't help but go along with it and i love to make things i, I really you know, do some watermelon some palestine some flowers some deodorant <laughs> just in case just in case i work a little too hard and then i have two rugs left for today these ones i left for last because they don't matter as much and it's these two and coincidentally one of them is a flower one of them's an egg don't get them confused i mean this could just be an egg but in the shape of a flower after this i have a lot of Sudanese flags i need to finish and then i really want to do like a little write-up some quick facts about what's happening in sudan because i feel that that is a conflict that is not super well known i think that a lot of people have their eye on Palestine and on Lebanon because, you know, luckily we have a lot of footage and we can see firsthand what's happening. But because in Sudan, technology is not as easily accessible. And because of that, we don't have our eyes on it as much. So I just want to remind people, and I like them to be in the same breath, you know? Even the flags are really similar. I'm going to cut to right now. The flags are so similar that sometimes people will come up to me and they'll see um, the Sudanese flag, which I'll put them side are it's really similar to this flag and people will be like oh you messed up the Palestine flag and I'm like no turn it around and when you turn around it says free Sudan so they're so they see that they messed up and I just think that goes to show that a lot of people don't know anything about Sudan so hopefully I will be able to have them all be all together literally you guys I'm I'm actually cooked right now like I was so locked in and then and then I wasn't. <sighs> you guys, I'm She's so scared. scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> We're gonna leave in like, what time is it? Live at 5.30? No! Um, may Allah have mercy on me, bro. SubhanAllah. On all of us. I mean, I did not sleep good last night. This song is making me so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna crash out to this song. <laughs> How do you feel? It's hot. But you know what? The 
sweater was worth it. Oh yeah, you're crazy. And um, it's honestly not that hot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just I'm thinking cool and healing. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, my sister's friend got me this, which was good. I'm Is that excited. the walnut? Yeah. That's what we got. Is it good? So good. And then came the bazaar, which was. I'm not going to lie, a really long day. It's a lot of energy on yourself to have to sell yourself over and over and over again. But it was really meaningful to me. And it was really, really fun to see people at my table looking at my rugs, asking me questions. And for everyone who bought a rug, I can't even describe it. It felt so great to be able to not only do something that I love, but to be able to contribute to causes that mean everything to me. Someone just left me with their table. What the hell? You've literally done this? that to me. Are you hot? You guys, I'm actually not hot in this. Like, I think I just really want to wear it. Mm. In the end, we ended up raising $450 total, $250 for a family in Palestine, $100 for a family in Sudan, and $100 for a family in Lebanon. There's lots of highs in your life, and there's lots of lows in your life. And to not allow the lows to keep you from being able to experience these highs. And thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too everywhere. And... I appreciate you for watching again, and hopefully you'll hear from me again Thank really you so soon. Much.